When we left off yesterday, Jesus had just told the disciples that he was about to be killed and that none of them would be around, but that they would all disown him. And that one of them would betray him. Start this again. When we left off yesterday, Jesus had just told the disciples that he knew that one of them was going to betray him. He didn't identify it, but he knew it was going to happen. And he pointed out that even those that didn't betray him, when push came to shove, they'd all disown him. And Peter said, not him. And Jesus said, oh yeah, you too. And then they arrived at a place called Gethsemane, which is where we begin today. Then they arrived at a place called Gethsemane. And Jesus said to his disciples, sit here while I pray. He took with him Peter and James and John and began to be horror stricken and desperately depressed. My heart is breaking with a death-like grief, he told them. Stay here, keep watch. Then he walked forward a little way and flung himself on the ground, praying that if it were possible, the hour might pass him by. Dear Father, he said, all things are possible to you. Let me not have to drink this cup. Yet it is not what I want, but what you want. Then he came and found them fast asleep. He spoke to Peter. Are you asleep, Simon? Couldn't you manage to stay awake for a single hour? Stay awake and pray, all of you, that you may not have to face temptations. Your spirit is willing, but human nature is weak. Then he went away again and prayed in the same words. And once more he came and found them asleep. They could not keep their eyes open and they didn't know what to say for themselves. When he came back for the third time, he said, are you still going to sleep and take your ease? All right, the moment has come. Now you will see the Son of Man betrayed into the hands of evil men. Get up, let us be going. Look, here comes my betrayer.